hope I look Asian because this look, trying to get everything symmetrical, was such a mission. Let me tell you, I've been at home for hours actually, but trying to get this one to look like this one, which I know it doesn't, so you don't have to comment that below, literally took me hours. And not only that, like that's not my look. You know, like Ariana Grande has a look and every other person has a look. My look was having these two buns at the top of my head. Like if you saw me at Varsity, you at some point would have seen me walking around with two buns on top of my head. And I thought it was the cutest thing ever until one day my best friend told me, Adrian, you look like Robot Boy. Bruh. Hi guys, my name is Adrian. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I bought at Chinatown. So, there's only like four things in this video, but let me tell you why. Let me just tell you why. We went there today, and I promise you, like, there's no COVID rules going on there, like, whatsoever. Like, I can count on my one hand. How many times someone actually sprayed my hands with sanitizer when I went into that shop? And not only that, the Chinatown stores have like a thousand things in one store. Literally. So you take that thousand things, which is already makes you crammed up on a normal day. There is no social distancing going on. There's like 50, 60, 70 people in one shop. We're all on top of each other. And so that's why I just took four things and then I was like, you know what, peace out. I will come back after COVID because this is a bit dangerous. So I'm only going to be showing you four things that I bought at Chinatown. Nonetheless, it's a haul. So that's why you came here to see what I bought. So let's see what I bought. So item number one is this LED lights, which you can see the white sticker. It's just plain white LED lights. So I have a couple in my room, but it's too little. So I bought more. This I think was like 10 rain, 15 rain, something like that. I don't remember. And also there's no price. I hate stuff that doesn't have a price on because then the time you come to the store, they make up some random price and you only see it once the transaction is through and you like actually look at the slip. So I actually don't know how much this thing was, but it's basically, I think this one is either 5 or 10 meters. It looks small, so I'm gonna go with 5 meters of LED lights. The man did test it though before I left and it worked. So the second thing I bought is this, it's like a tripod vlog thing and this one was 80 rand so i'm gonna do an unboxing so it's in the packet beautifully packaged <laughs> yeah so quite straightforward it's basically just this thing and then turn this on top of the i've used this a couple of times before but it was other people's not my own so this is kind of just for like more vlog type videos so that you can like hold it and if you separate it, and you can like bend it like this. Okay, that's not even, but like this. And then you just separate it. So this is like if you want to just use it like on a desk as a stand. So it works perfect for like a smaller stand other than this long tripod that I'm using to film my videos. You can put this like on the table and then like I said as well, then you can just fold them in. And you have a vlog stick, so I am upping my YouTube game. I don't know if you can tell. But I also have a ring light, which is actually burning my eyes. I have like the most sensitive eyes in the world, but this light is killing me. So please like this video for the sake of my eyesight. And then the next thing I bought is this Too Faced. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't even read that part when I, when I bought it. But anyway, a Too Faced, that's funny and it's so smart. Too Faced White Chocolate Eyeshadow Collection made with 100% natural cocoa powder. So this is a Tiran. And there was another one that was dark chocolate and the colors was a bit different. So I took this one. And you guys know I'm not a makeup person but like for the sake of YouTube, people have makeup on. So other than YouTube, you will never see me look like this. Oh no. Oh no. So if you see me in the shop and I look like this, I was probably filming a YouTube video before that. So... This is what it looks like, a little chocolate, obviously, white chocolate. And then when you open it, there's obviously the little plastic. And then this is pretty much the colors. I hope you can see it. It's probably like reflecting so bad. No, I'm a bad YouTuber now. Okay, how do I do this? This is the palette. <laughs> this is why I don't do makeup on this channel. So this is basically the palette. Let me, let me be like those, what do you call it? Those makeup people, you y'all know this ain't me. <laughs> Adrian and makeup has never been friends, as you can tell. So let's do a swatch. I have a friend that is a makeup artist. 
Shout out Ellie Mac. Uh, so she used to do this all the time in her room. I don't know why, but she used to like swatch things on her. That's what it's called, Musna. Yeah. Swatch. And then let's do like this raspberry rose one. I don't know if you can see it, the second one. And then let's try some lavender cake over here. And then maybe some sugar raisin. And so, yeah, that's what it looks like. I don't know. Can you see? Y'all know I'm just playing it out. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I just bought it. Because I was like, look, the people on YouTube, they wear makeup, so I'm going to have to wear makeup. And I don't have makeup because I don't wear makeup. And so I bought me this because it looked like something Ellie would buy. And so, yeah. But y'all be sleeping on Chinatown. Don't come judge me. Yeah, why are you buying from Chinatown makeup? Like, oh, you must go to MAC and NYX and all this. No. No. Look how cute this was. Look how cute this palette was. I at least know the word palette. Look how cute this was. And this thing was only 80 rand from Chinatown. So they have cool things. And look at my swatch. <laughs> okay, let's just move on to the last item which I am so excited about. So short little backstory before I show you the last item that I bought today. So basically, I saw this thing and said to mommy, I was like, you know what? That is not like, that is not a need. But it's so cool. Then she was like, yeah, so just leave it. So I was like, okay. So we walk, going through the rest of the stuff. I said, mommy, but that cup, boy, it's really, it's, is it expensive? Is it a need? It's not a need, eh? Is it a want? Like, and then we were just going back and forth with this. Is it a need? Is it the one thing? And then she was like, Adrian, it's going to be on your mind forever. So just go and take it. So let me show you. This will probably be the coolest thing you have ever seen in your life. So look, how cute is this? I don't know. Can you see it? Okay, let me show you. So basically, it is a flask slash cup that looks like a lens so again let's unbox it still has the plastic on but this is what it looks like so it looks like a photography lens right and then here is just okay i don't have now a scissors with me i didn't think this through okay diy and so yeah there we go it is a camera lens that is a cup and as you can see at the top it works as a flask so you drink it through there or you can turn it off, like you would turn a lens off, and you can just sit and drink it like a cup. I thought this is the coolest thing. They even have like the little buttons. Obviously, nothing moves or turns. But this is the coolest thing ever. And I'm so glad my mommy told me to take it because it would have definitely been on my mind forever. And I think this is my most exciting thing of the day. Clearly, the makeup was just a YouTube, not peer pressure. A YouTube pressure moment because obviously I need makeup to wear on these videos but this is my favorite buy of the day like I don't know I think it's the cutest thing ever and so this one was only I think it was yeah 90 rand for this little cup which is really not too bad like it's proper like stainless steel everything I can even smell the newness I mean you saw me just take the plastic off like this is the best thing ever Chinatown Sable Square is the specific Chinatown that I went to when I bought all of this thing. So yeah, that is basically the four things that I bought at Chinatown. Like I said, I really wanted to buy more stuff, but the social distance and the COVID things was just non-existent there. No sanitizing, no social distancing, mask on, mask off. Mask on, fuck it, mask on. Does news matter? So, I was just trying to get in and out as quick as possible. I actually went there to look for a headboard. Because I saw a headboard there the last time that I really wanted a headboard and like the side... Sideboard? <laughs> I don't know what you call that. And that's actually why I went to the shop. But it was way too expensive. So, I'm not buying that anytime soon. So, I just got carried away with a couple of needs. Like, this is a need. There's a need. There's not even so one. So, that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please don't judge me and my lack of makeup skills and 
understanding that this is not the point. The point of this video was to show you what I bought at Chinatown. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. And all those other YouTube things. And I'll see you guys in the next video. 3.28 AM. <laughs>